intentionally life-changing decision was made today in the case of Dion Johnson. Former Spanish Fort football star who's facing multiple charges of sexual assault asked for youthful offender status that would drastically shorten a jail term if he's found guilty. Fox 10 News reporter Matt Barentine lets you know what was decided. There are tense moments in Judge Langford Floyd's Baymanette courtroom today as Dion DJ Johnson awaited a major decision. The public and media were removed from the courtroom as Judge Floyd listened to arguments on youthful offender status, a change that would reduce a possible sentence for Johnson to a maximum of three years for each of the four sexual charges he faces. In less than an hour, a decision was made. Dion's going to be treated as a youthful offender in two cases, and he's going to be treated as an adult in two cases. Johnson's attorney, John White, was fighting for youthful offender status on all charges. Judge Floyd granted it in only the lesser charges. He was uh, treated as a youthful offender on the rape second and the sodomy second and treated as an adult on the both of the rape first cases. We are pleased that he denied youthful offender in the two that he denied it in. Um, and you know, we would have liked to have seen him denied in all of them. Prosecutor Teresa Hines says if Johnson is found guilty, he'll still face a heavy penalty. He's facing two counts of rape in the first degree, which is a forcible rape. Um, he's looking at 10 to life on each of those charges, which could be potentially run consecutively, um, in addition to the youthful offender facing the three years on each of those counts. Judge Floyd set the trials in the adult cases for next March. The youthful offender cases would be tried once those are completed. In Bay Manette, Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News. Johnson is still in jail. His bond has been revoked twice. Investigators say it's because he continues to communicate with one of the alleged victims in the case.